Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Tony over at Q's. So I have one of the uh, typical splice of trucks that we build in back of me. And I'm gonna take a walk around them with you and I'll show you what our splicer lab is all about. And if it's something you're interested in, you can call the number in the video or head over to our website and fill out a um, quote request through the website and we'll send you a quote. So on our trek, we are utilizing a wristlift Tel 29 boom. It has a side door entry. Uh, we have aluminum steps going up to it. There is a splicer door on the curb side and back of me. We can change that too. If you want the splicer door to be on the street side along with the table, we can put that on the street side. Or if you'd rather have it on the, have it on the curb side, we can do that as well. We typically put it on the curb side, so that's a little bit easier. So on the back power in the lab, we have a Honda generator in there. Um, we put an anti-theft cover over it, and the stairs are fastened to that as well. So you can pull the whole unit off. It's pretty lightweight, it removes easily, and it helps prevent, prevent the theft of your um, generator. If you have to fuel up the generator, it's pretty easy. You basically pull a pin right here, and lift the trap door, and the uh, filler neck is right there for it. So I fired up the generator behind me on the, la on the truck, and uh, you can hear how quiet it is. It's not that noisy at all. So let's head inside and I'll show you what's in the lab. So our van has a six foot floor to ceiling height. So gone are the days of being crunched over in an E350 van. So you get quite a bit of room. Here is a table on the curb side. There's a splicer door right there and power strip right here. Uh, this particular customer opted to upgrade with some bins. We typically don't put bins in these, but we can do it if you'd like. And here's an idea of what it would look like. There's also a work light on top of the splicer door in the back and also one above the curb side door on the passenger side of the vehicle. And there's also a go light at the top with a remote and uh, you can use that from within the cab to kind of drive down the road a little bit and spot the um, area that you need to work in. So that's our splicer truck in a nutshell. If you want some more information or you'd like to give us a call, uh, you can ask me. My name's Tony and call the number in the video or go directly to our website which is listed below and uh, you can request a quote through our website thanks for watching